That's why your <laughs> dates go nowhere. That's why your friends think you're boring. There was a question posed on one of our listener pages. Freddie Ferrer says, who does this? And I thought, Rich is that. My dad goes to the bar with his friends every Friday and he makes a list of discussion topics. And the agenda is to cover all these little topics, I guess, when there's a lull in the conversation, just to keep it flowing, keep it going. Oh. As funny as it is, or charming, or endearing, or however you look at it, odd. I feel like it's a um, pretty good way to approach things. Prepare, because, prepare this? Yeah, like I do that from a mental standpoint. I don't write it down. I'm always mentally prepared. I don't write, right. them, I don't write them down. But, but you to could, be honest, it's no, there's we, no harm in that. We don't need to, and I'll tell you what. And we do it for the show. Every day, I write my psychopath notes. But when I was a single guy, I'd go into a date thinking, if things get weird and quiet, what's a really light, fun conversation to have? Yeah, you got to have that backup. So again, it's a little overprepared and nerdy. I get it. But I, I responded, who does that? Rich is dead on post-it yeah, notes my dad all the time. Greg will hey, throw, now uh, I'm uh, going to talk about the Dominican Republic. He'll throw on his readers. And uh, I had mango for the first time. Is there a food you haven't had until later in life and you love it? So how about you, Richie? What's the first food you had you hadn't had ever right. and you enjoyed it? Again, you don't have to be overboard like this guy's dad on this little post, but I think you're failing if you don't do some sort of version of that. In a world where so many people are just out of things to talk about and you don't want to bring up politics and you don't want to bring up religion, like I think you you should come somewhat prepared. Otherwise, you're just having a boring night. What. And that's why you suck as company because you're not doing that. Yeah. Because you don't have you're that. Not mentally, you're not mentally. You're not. If you're not, you're not mentally, mentally equipped. prepared, even a little bit. Be mentally prepared for life. So again, the question was, who does that? I think everybody should do a little version of that. Tiny version.